Imagine that if you were a fairy and you lived in a fairy hunter world would you survive? Hmm, let's see. Jessica was a fairy but she lived in a fairy hunter world. She had shiny black eyes and pink lips. She loved fairies. But her hunter parents told her to not love fairies. In that world, everyone have to do a DNA test to find out if they are really hunters. Jessica's parents were scared to let her do the test as Jessica loves fairies and she might be a fairy. But finally they let her do the test. They teleported to the Fairy Hunter Hospital. The nurse told them to use the Fairy Tester. They filled up the paper. After some times the results came out. The results says, Jessica is a fairy hunter. Her parents were happy but she was sad. After they came home her parents were gonna sleep when someone knocked on the door. It was the fairy hunter queen. She came inside angrily. Her parents asked what happened. The fairy hunter queen said that she found out that Jessica is a fairy. Actually the truth is, Jessica's parents got the results before Jessica but the results said she is a fairy so they will kill her. They asked the nurse to fake the results. First she said no but They showed her their fairy dusts.
The nurse agreed to fake it. Jessica heard everything from her room, she felt happy that she is a fairy. She came out of her room and begged the queen to not hurt her parents. But the queen is so evil that she used her powers to push Jessica. Her parents couldn't do anything as they didn't have their powers. But Jessica still had her powers, she used her powers to push the queen. The queen fell to the ground and she started bleeding from her forehead. Jessica and her parents ran out of the house. They went to the main gate to escape but some hunters saw them and brought them to the fairy hunter palace. The fairy hunter princess told the guards to lock them up in the jail. Jessica tried to use her powers but failed as the place was too dark. Jessica and her parents had to stay there with no food. After six months, the queen came and she started mocking them. When she was mocking them, Jessica noticed that the key of the jail was tied to the queen's clothes. She secretly untied it from her clothes and took it. After the queen went, they opened the jail and escaped the jail. They teleported to the hospital to take back their fairy dusts. They saw the nurse was sleeping so they silently took the fairy dusts and applied it on their body. Yeah. 
They got their powers back. They went to the main gate and opened it with their power. They finally stepped on the fairy land. They waken up all the fairies with magical leaf trumpet. All fairies were shocked to see them because they went missing one day. Actually Jessica's parents were also fairies, when they were flying one day some hunters saw them, they ran fast to escape from the hunters. They mistakenly went to fairy hunter land and was trapped there forever. Jessica thought of a plan, she told to everyone. Everyone agreed with her plan. Rosanna, childhood friend of Jessica will act as a fairy hunter so she can get information from hunters. On the other side, everyone in Fairy Hunter Land are finding them. They decided to attack on the fairy land. They reached fairy land. When they were going to start Rosanna stopped them and told she is also a hunter. First they didn't believe her but she showed a fake dead fairy and they believed her. She told that there is a strength potion in the fairy palace. The fairy hunter queen ordered to go to the fairy palace. They reached there. The queen asked where is the potion. Rosanna said she doesn't know but her friend Jasmine knows. She got very furious. Then Jessica changed her look and entered there as Jasmine. The fairy hunter queen decided to go there and drink it.
She drank the potion. Then she fainted. After some times, the queen woke up and saw that all the hunters and she was locked in the jail. She got very furious. Then Jessica and all other fairies gathered there. The queen was so shocked to see them. Jessica said that tit for tat, you locked us in jail for six months and now you stay in jail for six years. She realized her mistakes and asked Jessica for forgiveness. Jessica said that fairy jail is just for hunters to realize their mistakes. She made her and all the hunters free. Then all hunters and fairies became friends. Then the fairy queen came. She announced in front of everyone that Jessica is the new fairy queen. The fairy queen crowned Jessica as the new fairy queen. From that day, Jessica became the youngest fairy queen. That day is celebrates as Fairy Freedom Day.